Hey YouTube, how's it going guys? Um, it's December, uh, everybody's doing Christmas lights and uh, shopping for gifts and we're about to travel with family and uh, with traveling you usually have to get a pet sitter and have someone watch your fish. Uh, so if you're like me, I have a pet sitter and she's going to be coming over to feed the fish. Uh, she's done it in the past but uh, my tank lights come on at 4 p.m. until 2 a.m. in the morning because of my shift. So when she came over about uh, three or four months ago for the first time, uh, the lights were off and I really didn't get to see to show her how I actually fed stuff. Uh, but this will be a detailed video that she can uh, reference and that maybe you guys can reference. So uh, when feeding, it's it's important that uh, you uh, for one don't overfeed if you can help it, and two you want the food to be suspended in the water column as much as you can and not moving around so I recommend turning off the power heads um, for me I don't turn off the actual return pump because I don't think it's necessary um, and also you know you're overfeeding your fish if you're seeing a lot of fish if you're seeing a lot of fish food uh, hit the sand and not be consumed um, also when you <coughs> feed uh, you want to spread the food out throughout the tank and not just one spot. Um, I personally uh, like to use a uh, what's it called a uh, a pipit. Uh, you can get these from BRS. They're in different sizes. This is a large size, but they have a smaller one you can use as well. That's about half the size and a little more narrower. Uh, to me, it's good to read salinity readings if you're using a re uh, refractometer. You can just get a little bit out and put it on the glass. Anyway, so as you can see I've got some uh, get the camera in there. Got some food in here. Uh, I've got five fish. I've got a um, Tanaka Pygmy Rass, Blue Assessor, Yellow Clown Goby, Rainford Goby, Scissor Tail Dartfish, and a uh, Flame Pin Tang. So I guess that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I'm doing math right. Wait, one, two, three, six. I got six fish. I'm sorry. I can't do that. So right now I'm going to turn off my pump. I've got the Sichi Wave Maker. Turn that off. Going to go ahead and get you some some uh, water. I fill the cup up halfway. So just, just a little bit, not even halfway. Take your dopper or your pipit. I call it a dopper. I don't know why. Mix up the food pretty good. Uh, so I like to use vitamins. It's uh, I think it's called C C C vitamins. You can get out via uh, bulk reef supply. Just type in vitamins. I use garlic too by uh, by Brightwell Aquatics, but I use garlic on like uh, two times a week. Uh, they say long term. Uh, there's some debate, but they say that long term studies have shown that garlic. Uh, damages the fish's liver long term. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take it and start at one end. They know it's about time to get fed. And just kind of spray it on out. And you might get little globs that get stuck in there that kind of go in one spot, but it's no big deal. Uh, see, everybody's eating. Alright. And uh, you don't want to feed too fast. So feed slow, let them get this round, and uh, and then uh, the flame fin tang, he's a little camera shy, but, uh, and he does have head and lateral line erosion, for everybody's wondering. Uh, he's only been in here about a week and a half, and he came that way from, uh, he came that way from somewhere else, so. So total feed time should take about, you know, about two minutes. And you'll take it and see. So he knows it's food. So just kind of go around here. Get some more. And what I do is I, uh, like, I tilt the uh, the cup like sideways and then suck it out like that. So you get the you get a, a lot of meaty food. I think everybody's just about done. 
Might try to get that tang some more food here. Let's see if he can. Then you'll shut your doors. Uh, my power heads go off for five minutes when I click that little button. Uh, but if your power heads, you have to physically turn on and off. Uh, just don't forget to turn it back on, right? That's important. Uh, it's probably not the end of the world. Uh, you know, you forget for a couple of hours, you know, as long as you have your return pump going, but um, you still don't want to forget. Luckily, mine kick on automatically, and I'm fortunate. Okay, guys, that's my video. I hope you enjoy it. And until next time, I hope you have a good Christmas. Hope you got your shopping done, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.